This story comes with a trigger warning, but it's an extremely novel situation that has just arisen under Australian law, and I think it deserves to be talked about. However, it does involve a father very, very seriously injuring their child, and if that stuff is, besets you, move right along because it's not nice. This young woman was Tegan Ferguson, and tragically, when she was very, very young, her father so savagely assaulted her in a moment of rage when she was a baby that she suffered a lifetime of catastrophic injuries, including physical injuries and mental injuries. He was rightfully jailed for that, and he served a substantial period of time in custody. Now, we jump forward about 15 years, and tragically, Tegan succumbs to injuries that were largely caused by her father's conduct. Does the law of double jeopardy prevent him from being charged for her becoming unalived? Well, in a legal first, under Western Australian law, the courts have found that no, he can be charged for that conduct, given that it was his actions that led to it. Now, the judge in his sentencing had to be very careful to not double count the same time, making sure that the time that was already served for that incident is not re-served, given what's happened. And he pleaded guilty. It was fairly straightforward from that perspective. But from a legal perspective, it raises a lot of questions. Let's say I rob someone, and then they fall into a spiral and their life collapses and they take their own life, am I therefore responsible for them taking their own life? And it opens the door to really complicated issues that go into the heart of to what extent does one person's actions um, echo through the ages. In this case, the father accepted responsibility, didn't fight it, wasn't complex, but it really is something that is legally novel, albeit horribly tragic. Follow me for more legal TikTok.